Structural engineers and architects both design buildings. That's why it's normal for many people to confuse the two occupations. So, if you're confused, trust me, you're not alone. But both jobs are actually completely different. So, what exactly is the difference? Which job focuses on what? Which job is harder? And which job is fit for what kind of people? Which job pays more? Well, stay tuned until the end of the video because today we will discuss what these both occupations are and what makes them different. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First, let's talk about what architects do. Well, you know the whole environment all around you? That's pretty much all designed by architects. If you want to describe an architect, you can describe them as part scientist and part artist. They need to focus on physical structure, but at the same time they need to focus on the aesthetics as well. Architects spend their time making sketches, models, plans, and technical drawings, either by hand or by computer-aided design. As a career, architects meet with their clients, discuss all the needs, and sometimes on senior levels, they also oversee construction projects. But either way, architects are never involved in the construction work themselves. Now, let's take a look at what structural engineers do. Well, for structural engineers, the focus stays more on the safety of the building instead of the aesthetics. Instead of focusing on the looks of the building, they choose the appropriate materials and they make sure the structure doesn't buckle or bend. Structural engineers can also advise on how existing buildings can be improved and made safer. Just like architects, these engineers produce plans and drawings, meet with professionals in the field, and some can even get involved with management of the project. But a main difference between structural engineers and architects is the fact that the job of a structural engineer is a lot wider. There are many other differences as well though, so let's talk about them. Of course, there are significant similarities between both jobs, but a main difference is the fact that structural engineers don't really choose how the final building looks like. Like I mentioned, structural engineers aren't really focused on the aesthetic. They make sure the calculations linked to the building are all fine. The looks aren't their job. On the other hand, architects don't really require a lot of mathematics and physics. I don't mean they don't require them at all, they do need it. But for architects, a deep understanding of mathematics and physics isn't an essential part of the job unlike for structural engineers. The mathematics and physics part is needed to make sure the building stays upright and safe. That's the engineer's job, not an architect's. Now, let's look into some more specific parts of both the jobs. First, let's talk about salary. Which one of them gets paid more? Well, let's not get into too much detail, but according to a research, you're probably likely to make more money being an architect than you would make if you were a structural engineer. That's because of all the long and hard training it takes to become a licensed architect. Next, let's take a look at the education, training, and experience of both these careers. Entry into university courses is definitely hard for both of them, but requirements can be different depending on different institutions and different countries. In most places though, becoming an architect takes a total of 7 years. That includes a bachelor's level qualification and a master's level qualification. In some places, only the bachelor's degree is 5 years though, so it really depends on where you live. After these 5 years, 2 years are needed to gain industry experience before you sit in an exam and apply for a license. For any career, the qualification period of architecture is one of the longest and the most expensive and that's why the salary pays off too. Talking about civil engineers, the qualifications are pretty different. Some people can go ahead and join an apprenticeship after school and learn on the job. On the other hand, some people take a pre-university diploma which allows them to work as a trainee engineer. And there's a third option as well. Some people opt for a bachelor's or master's degree in structural engineering and follow it up with relevant experience. Talking about the United States, around half of the structural engineers have bachelor's degrees, while 40% of them have a master's degree. So either of these qualifications aren't absolutely essential. But of course, the job opportunities available can be different for different structural engineers, depending on their educational background. Another thing we should discuss today is the typical work environment of both the jobs. 
For architects, the job is mostly limited to the office, and sometimes they visit the site and attend meetings. You could say an architect job is a traditional 9-to-5 job with overtime sometimes. But to be fair, the hours are usually very long and can go a lot higher than just 9-to-5. For structural engineers, the work environment depends on the organization they work for. If an engineer works for a consultancy, it's mostly an office-based job. But on the other hand, if a structural engineer works for a contractor, their job is mostly focused on site where they oversee the construction of different infrastructure. Talking about the working hours, they're usually longer and more irregular if you work with a contractor. But with consultancies, considering it's an office-based job, the hours are shorter and a lot more regular. Now, here's the main question. Which job is harder? Well, to be honest, both the jobs can get pretty challenging. I mean, talk about any profession in the world, it can get challenging. But if you compare structural engineering and architecture, well, architecture is harder in the sense that its qualification takes a lot longer and it costs a lot more. Also, architects have to master both technical skills and creative skills. But on the other hand, structural engineers have to be really great at complex mathematics and science, which is definitely not a piece of cake. So honestly, no matter which career you choose, you have to work hard. To sum it all up, they are both difficult jobs, but the jobs pay real good as well. But yes, they have their differences, and at the end of the day, you can choose whichever you're good at and whichever interests you more. I guess the main question when choosing one of these is, are you more creative or more technical? If the answer is creative, architecture is good for you. But in the technical scenario, you can go ahead and opt for structural engineering. On that note, let's end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Till then, peace out and have a great day.